uh, late, great uh, Eddie Rabbit once saying, I love a rainy night. Well, that is true tonight. I don't know if he wanted this much rain or not, as fans are flooding to the Peterborough Memorial Center for playoff lacrosse. 18 to three, Six Nations beating Coburg. There's a shot, there's a goal, Brooklyn on the board as they draw first blood. As it turns out, Luke Pilcher, one nothing for Brooklyn. And that was just a quick shot. He didn't hesitate at all. It wasn't a quick stick or anything. He only had it in his stick for about a second, though, before he just decided to unload. And I think that fooled the Peter Rowe defense just a little bit. They got caught flat-footed. And just a nice berry down low, 59 seconds into the opening period. Brooklyn has a 1-0 lead. Buckland down to the crease, out in front, shot, they score! Josh Courier, JC 27, it's 1-0 Peterborough Lakers. That was a great set play from Peterborough with Courier, the extra man parked in the middle, forcing Brooklyn to pay attention to him. And if anyone goes to him, that means someone is open on the outside and Brooklyn chose to just stay in that box leaving Courier right there uncontested. What a great job sneaking into. You saw him do a stutter step to come in behind the defense, and he's just left all alone. Josh Courier getting the Lakers on the board. Moves it in, holding Katoni. Katoni, he'll drop it. And it's moved back into the stick of Katoni. Gets a pick from McLaughlin. McLaughlin rolls, Katoni shoots, scores. Holy Katoni gets on the board. The Lakers lead it for the first time tonight. The regular season's leading scorer, Holden Katoni, gets on the board as we take a look at that sparse section. As we mentioned, a bit of a rainstorm out there with lots of flooding, but that didn't stop Holden Katoni from finding the back of the net as he comes over from that far side shooter position towards the top, fires it home. And a jump, swings it back here. He'll get it to McLaughlin. Evans to McLaughlin, shoots, he scores! 3-1, Peterborough on a goal by Eli McLaughlin. Eli McLaughlin has been on, on all three Peterborough goals. Finding the back of the net after getting assists on the opening two goals. And that is his first playoff marker as a member of the Peterborough Lakers. Nice give and go dish and McLaughlin finding that open lane right down the middle. Nice little pop out from Turner Evans from the corner. Just like the math says, 1-1, one, one, lost one. There's a shot, Evans with a beauty. Turner Evans coming in, giving the Lakers a 4-1 lead. As we take a look at Turner wearing his dad's number five, late uh, father Mark Evans, who I think played for both teams, if I'm not mistaken. Played in Brooklyn a little bit. Yeah. Uh, and of course with Peterborough, but. Now that Evans family, they were involved in a lot of those Brooklyn Peterborough series that we just touched on and then it's only fitting that just as we're finished talking about that Turner Evans with a behind the back goal it's 4-1 Peterborough nice little dish from the side usually it's Turner Evans making the pass from the corner this time he gets fed by Katoni that misses the mark and the ball zipped all the way down to the Lakers end and grabbed here by Brooklyn, couple fakes, shot, they score! A beautiful shorthanded goal by Jake Stevens. And the Brooklyn Lacrosse Club closed the gap. Well, that's a big goal, 19 seconds into their own penalty. Brooklyn goes down, gets the shorthanded goal, nice effort from out of the corner. A little one-man show coming out of there. And Brooklyn finally stops the bleeding. It was a four goal. Tony, back to Courier. Courier, Katoni will shoot, scores! A cannon from Katoni, and it's 5 2 Lakers. 20 seconds is all it took for the Lakers to respond to that shorthanded goal. And it's another power play marker for Peterborough as they restore that three goal lead very quickly. And 
again, some great ball movement being worked around towards the top. And then you see the Lakers trying to spread open that space a little bit as Courier started making his way towards the corner a little bit more, creating an opening for Katoni at the top to unload. So they do break a shot by Waters now. That is handled by Kels. Here come the Lakers. On the run, Gilray looks, shoots, scores! What a little fake by Matt Gilray. Next thing you know, the ball's in the back of the net. And now the Lakers have scored a shorthanded marker. Brooklyn thought that was a quick line change on the Lakers' side. Well before that ball was even shot, the Brooklyn bench was looking towards the referee, and then the play continued on. The man off the bench wasn't a factor anyway. The Brooklyn defender had to keep an eye on McLaughlin coming off the bench. You can see him going over there, and that created the lane for Gilray. That's why Brooklyn was upset. Referee was right there, though, by the bench. Great shot from Gilray, a transition shorty. That's Tate Katoni to older brother Holden Courier. Katoni scores the hat trick for Holden Katoni. Another blast, and the Lakers score on the power play. The hat trick goal for number 99, and the fourth power play goal of the night for the Peterborough Lakers as they take a 7 2 lead with 15.06 left to go in the second period. Pretty similar to the play we saw earlier at the other end in the first period. A little pass over to both of his shooters. They play catch for a little bit, and then Katoni with an absolute bomb. Sorry, it is gonna be Lakers ball. I didn't know what to Eccles Tone was calling in there. Here's a chance, Hazen shoots and scores! Austin Hazen! Brooklyn thought it may have been a crease violation. They didn't like the non-call, but the Lakers will take it. It's 8-2 Peterborough. Hazen gets a nice bounce. You see Eli McLaughlin, he steps in like he's gonna shoot long distance. Ball goes into Hazen, and he gets the nice bounce off the iron, off Hutchcraft. We'll get a better look at it right here. And didn't look like it crossed the line. Referee was right there. Hutchcraft was saying it didn't cross. Played by Kyle Waters. Waters at the top of the power play. Over to the shooter position again. Play underway as Liam Osborne moves it. Cook takes it off the boards. Five seconds on the shot clock. Kierden, couple of fakes, shoots, scores. What a shot. Connor Kierden, little pump and then pass landing Kells. And that closes the gap to 8-3. What a great shot by Kiernan. He angled his stick in such a way that he didn't know where the ball was coming out, and he ended up putting it in that far top corner, or that near side top corner, rather. But just the way he shot it, it wasn't your typical classic overhand shot. He brought his stick over just enough to change the angle. That's a tough one to save. Yeah, great shot. Uh, loose ball off the draw. Tutton coming in, delivering a... Pretty solid hit. Loose ball on front, Hogarth shoots, scores! The Buckhorn Bandit strikes here in the second period, and just like that, the Lakers respond. Well, that all started with Chad Tut. He lays a big hit. We've seen a physical game from him tonight, and you see him coming in out of nowhere. He makes the big hit, the ball pops loose, and then Hogarth comes in and finishes that playoff. There's the end result, though. Tutton created the hit. Withers was right in there to make sure the loose ball wasn't picked up by Brooklyn. Just sit in here for Courier. Over here for Tate Katoni. And Katoni gets a pick, moves the ball in. Out in front it goes, but it's intercepted here by Brooklyn. They'll head down the floor in transition. Little two on one. There's the look, there's the shot, and there's the goal right there by Ben McDonald as he goes coast to coast pretty much. And Brooklyn getting one back, still down by five goals. But nice movement from Brooklyn to get the play up the floor. A little bit of a two on one. McDonald, who's on a bad angle, manages to get that ball through. 
I think the Lakers thought that pass was going to go over to Waters on the far side. Flashy orange sneaks. I don't see a lot of orange shoes out there. Here's a chance, McLaughlin to the goal, scores. A short-handed effort by Eli McLaughlin. What an acquisition McLaughlin has been. Four points on the night for the Lakers, playing in his postseason game with Peterborough, his first postseason yeah. game with Peterborough. Got in a few regular season games, coming over from the Burnaby Lakers in the WLA, and looking right at home in this postseason in that Lakers uniform. Just a little fake, making it look so simple. There, who's in the pipes tonight for uh, the Kodiaks? Yeah, facing a lot of shots clearly is Steve Orlerman. Yeah, okay, yeah. He's got a tough task. Still ahead of him for another period and a half. Here's a chance. Kiernan Fake shoots. And a nice stopping. Oh, no, goes in. They call it a goal. There it is. Clearly, it's across the line. Great call by the referee there. And that is a big one for Brooklyn here. That closes the gap. Gets them a little closer. 10-5, your score now. Yeah, it's going to cut the lead in half. And just a nice play by Kiernan coming off the bench. He gets a few steps on the Lakers. And right away, as soon as he shot that, he knew that was in the back yep. of the net. Well, he had the best angle on that far side. Went in and then rolled back. 15 to go there. Here's Courier. Courier across. Shot. They score. What a beauty. Tic-tac-toe. Eli McLaughlin with another one. It's 11-7 Peterborough. That's the hat trick goal for McLaughlin. Another power play marker, the fifth of the night for the Lakers. And once again, it comes on the heels of a great passing play, starting with Holden Katoni at the top. He goes over to Josh Courier, who right away goes far side over traffic. And right on the doorstep was Eli McLaughlin. For Brooklyn, backhand feed. Ball bouncing around, shot, and he scores! Kell's got a piece, but not enough. And just like that, don't look now, but Brooklyn back to within three. 11-8 now at 9.19 to go. Knuckle had some backspin to it. Kells made the original save, and then it went off his pad, off the turf, and then like you do on the golf course, Pete, just some nice backspin as it makes its way back towards the net and over top of that goal line. Kells looked like he thought he had it in front and then you see it right there as it just takes that hop backwards. Kells seeing it at the last second crossing that took him out after he shot the ball. Evans with it out in front, McLaughlin scores! What a beauty! Eli's having himself a night tonight. Yeah, absolutely. 12-8, Peterborough. Six points for McLaughlin in his Lakers debut. And you see him with his stick up in the air. He wanted that ball right from the get-go. He looked towards the passer, had that stick positioned, and you knew where that ball was going. And still Brooklyn. Brooklyn with it. Along the boards, on the power play for another second or two. Now it's over, but a chance to get a shot away. There it is, they score. Nice little bouncer and having himself a pretty good night here is Wesley for Brooklyn as he notches another one. And uh, hey, here we are, 12-9 lacrosse game. Yeah, two goals this period for Wesley as he gets a little bit of momentum back on the Brooklyn side. Some good ball movement, taking advantage of that extra space on that far side with the Lakers. Down a man, penalty had just expired. Three goal game clock. So things are going Peterborough's way here late. Good Tony, good Tony with a bouncer to Evans, back to Hazen, Hazen to Gilray, Gilray to Evans. Evans gets a little pick set by Hazen, drops it back to Hazen. Austin Hazen will just unload it, and that will do it. Game one will go to the Peterborough Lakers, make the final 12-9.
12-9, Peterborough. As Landon Kells was fantastic tonight in goal for the Peterborough Lakers with the 44 saves. We will be back with your post-game show coming up. You're watching the MSL on your team.